All right, everybody, welcome to Smart House. I'm Dustin Dowling. This is Bobby Blaze. Let's get to it. Hey, so what she's in stewies in there? Do you know what Discord is? Discord. Have you ever heard of Discord? Like the app? Yes, the app. Yeah, I have it. What? <laughs> it's conversations. <laughs> It's a chat app, it's like right? A, yeah, it's like it's a, a it's, an app. Ad, it's an advanced chat app. So it's Microsoft is thinking about buying it for like a billion dollars. They're either gonna buy it. I think uh, Amazon also was interesting in buying it, or they're gonna go public, which is like I guess there's now a. It's called Sparks or Sparg. This thing is called Spark. Or so, and this is how like companies can like quickly go public. I guess before to go public, you needed to first you needed to, like talk to a bank and like get a lot of money put together and talk to all these big wigs and it was it took a lot of effort now it's like as easy as like signing up for facebook so are they trying to position themselves for an ipo or like both both whatever is going to be worth more i'm assuming you know obviously okay. if microsoft buys you out and they say this much we're like fuck it let's why gamble ipo but at the same time what company was it facebook that i think you said amazon well no i mean uh be. But who actually, they were supposed to get buy up before they went to their IPO. I think Facebook was probably, they have to be probably one of them. You mean it was on, it was on the, it was on the desk in front of Microsoft and they said pass? Yeah. I think Zuck, Zuck was like, yeah. Zuck was like, Zuck off. Zuck. Yeah. He I'm said sure that pass on been, that. Been then he saw, before. then Zuck saw Instagram said smash. Oh, snap. Smash your pass. Here's a fun, here's a fun conversation. Out of all the tech people, who do you think is an actual genius? Who's a real genius and who is just that lucky, nerdy, these dudes, you know? <clears throat> That's an interesting question because I think the people that you would see are none of them. Because I think they mm. would be a personality because the real tech people, you won't see them. Like, you know, uh, they'll, they'll be in the who, back who's fixing the, stuff. Uh, who's the other, not Jobs, who's the other guy? Wazakawana, whatever. Zuckerberg? <laughs> no, there was two people for Apple. There was, there was oh. Jobs. And there was Waz the Wozniak. Was is that what his name I is? I think I so. Saw, this is why I feel like he was going down the track. I saw him advertise on a cameo on the cameo app. Do you know what the cameo app is? Maybe it's like where celeb you like give money to celebrities and then they'll get on live for you and they'll tell you happy birthday or whatever like that. <sighs> Corny, but okay. Yeah. So I saw him on that, and I'm like, oh, that doesn't. That seems like that's on the way down. I, but anyways, back to the original question. Watching it on my question Android is, phone. I think easily Elon Musk, I feel like, is the smartest one. He, okay, yeah, Elon yeah. Musk, I can see He's that. like a legit smart guy. I mean, why doesn't he have an Iron Man outfit yet? I, I mean, he's probably getting there. You could, that's just, have you seen that video? So this is why we, we need another producer to pull stuff up. I could try to pull it up real quick. Is that, um, there's that video of uh, Jeff Bezos and he's like in this thing where like you control your hands and there's two huge like robot hands, but he's in like little hands and they're just like, and he can control the whole thing. And he's like so happy about it. He's like, <laughs> yeah, that's like ultimate supervillain. <laughs> yeah. He's like an ultimate supervillain. So then we need Musk to come to the, well, that's what I'm saying yeah. I, is just Jeff Bezos, like a really smart dude, or did he just somehow position himself? I think he's a prick. Or he's just a prick. It's just, I mean, you know, because a lot of it, it really has nothing to do with how much you know. It's just the good narrative. That's I mean, he did need. put together, I mean, Amazon at one point in time was just, I'm getting that right, Amazon, right? Jeff Bezos, yes. Yeah, yeah. Just like it was a website to buy books. Yeah, that was it. That was it. Now, I'm, that was it. I'm assuming his, maybe his plan was like, I just going to sell books to everybody. I don't think that's what he sat down and think nah. that he wanted to do. <clears throat> um, I mean, because, yeah, you do, you do have those antitrust laws. In place, but we know whenever you're on the internet, there's no physical address, so it's like what laws apply, uh -huh. and it, it, you know, it's a, it's a game changer. A lot of people that are tech savvy, they just, have, you know, their personality is kind of weird. That's what you. That's what we were saying. That's what I said. Yeah. Like, it's always the side person. It's the narrative. It's the yeah, he is the creepiest the one. Ones. Like I feel like I could sit down and talk to Elon Musk. I could probably talk to Bezos <clears throat> and Bill, but like Zuck, I feel like he's just. He, you, you know what I think about Zuckerberg? I think his father is Data from Star Trek. <laughs> I think. Oh my God. I can't prove it. Dude, I, oh my God. Now I kind of want to go see the pictures because if it's like, is it the actor or is it just like the pale version of Data from the show? It would be Data. To, yeah, like, it's totally. not Data. It's not the actor it's, that played Data. It's not the actor. Data. The actor probably got more character. Yeah. Especially in the Star Trek movies where he gets a personality because they give him the emotion chip. Yeah. 
And then oh, he starts yeah. laughing. He's like, what? Oh, I'm laughing at the joke. He said, Data, that was it's six like the, years ago. Well, there's a problem. Anytime they did that with Data, he would go crazy and like be a fucking problem. So it's probably good that Zuck is not like Well, that. in the movies, he shuts it off. Just gets, <laughs> okay, I'm back. Yeah. And it's like, oh, huh. <laughs> all right. I always thought it was actually interesting that that actor it was like a big, I don't know if I want to say a theater actor, but he I can see sing that. and dance. I knew he could sing. I didn't know and about so the dance. And so when they would start doing the shows where they were in the, whatever, that room where they could make anything. The holodeck. The holodeck, yeah. yeah. That Data was actually the go-to actor for that because he had a play, he had the most range, you know. I could see that. So. In fact, I think he's done that in the show. He's broke it down and he's done thing and talking about, well, the, the opera is in my databanks. Yeah, yeah just, right. I think he has done stuff like that. It's cool. So now we just pretty sure that data is running Facebook. But he have you seen any time when, when, when Zuck was like had to go to the fucking con he's swearing up to Congress or whatever and he's staring. Yeah. And then obviously the Zoom meeting. I remember that. Scary. I remember that. He's just just blank. Totally blank. Just has no idea. Like the disconnect. And it was so funny because some of these people on Cop Capitol Hill, you know, they're they're older than Methuselah up there, and they just mm -hmm. don't like the concept of social media. They just don't get it. No, they don't get it at all. And they're like, well, what 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 is the in, the interweb? <laughs> How's he? You know, it's like the same guy who brought in the thing of snow into the house one time, and he's like, global warming's not real, and he just shows you a snowball, and that's his that's his uh, that's the evidence that's exhibit his evidence. A exhibit A. If it was global warming, there would be no snow outside. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Have you ever heard or seen the show Space Force? I know it's now it's an actual. I didn't real watch it, apartment. but I'm familiar with it. Cause, so I watched a couple, yeah. of, uh, a little bit of it, because one, it has Steve Carell, who's really funny. He is funny. And then it has, uh, oh my goodness, who's the other <clears throat> actor? There's a couple of them. This is a very famous actor. There was a movie from this actor, the whole, the, John Malkovich, which ah. is the movie playing being John Malkovich. Which is my, with, which that's is a whole other part. Malkovichception other story kinda. but in the Space Force there's a part where he Steve the Steve Carell character is always like dealing with Congress and stuff like that and at one point in time you know they're just asking for the money to like have you know money for a bigger military and there's like this old congressman who's supposed to be obviously like a conservative Republican but super old they make him look like he's fucking dead 200 years old. yeah and the joke is that he's just completely beyond whatever he's like saying like oh yeah this beautiful flat earth of ours America and ever and then they're all just like looking around he's and it's the same stuff with um the space they don't even understand how they're going out there he just wants to give them the money just because it's military really so you need stuff. a bigger plane yeah just more right like god bless this flat earth and no one like everyone just kind of rolls their eyes no one like addresses the issue that he the crazy crap he just said in congress you know everyone's just like whatever he's giving us the money yeah well, so the show is i don't love the show but it's fun it's a fun show to watch that's something so, i don't get into shows very often you don't get in show what shows do you watch then Anything. it depends it depends on what mood i'm in Ooh, you know, yeah, it depends. It depends. Do I need to set the green screen mood for us? Because uh, these purple, this is not very smart housey. This is our pilot episode. Well, nor are we talking about like tech ish type we're, of we're, things. I'm, I'm getting around. We're I talking mean, about tech ish. I always like the, I always like the, the, uh, you know, your South Parks and your family guys and things oh, like yeah. that. Oh, yeah. Okay. You know, I like that. But a lot of times I like the documentaries. You know, you just something to kind of feed your mind with different things and, you know, that's usually interesting. Probably a big fan of that kind of stuff. Yeah, you ever watch any Black Mirror stuff from Black, Netflix? It's some weird... I, it's, I don't know. It's, I, each show is like it's an individual thing. The last main popular show I got into was Mandalorian. Oh, that wasn't bad. I finished that. That wasn't bad. That had some cool there. tech stuff. So at the very end, the last episode, they have Luke come back. Yes. And they did a whole... Um, Deep fake. I guess it's not technically a deep fake. But oh, they did the a, CGI they did thingy. CGI face. Yeah. And I've seen a couple of uh, <clears throat> uh, channels. They actually went in. They tried to do their own. They did it so much better. And it's so crazy to see these big studios. They can't seem to do something on these that these very very small studios can do. Just because they're on the high tech. Plus Disney, you got to pay all these people. Like you can't right. just say let's <clears throat> do the best. Find the best person on the internet. Like you're already in contracts and with with some artists for oh, yeah. ten years. So you have to use these people. But uh, I think even they had a Tom Cruise new channel. The guy, all he does is Tom Cruise deep fakes. He's a, he's a Tom Cruise impressionist, but then mm. they use the software and he was doing, he was even going like this to like, 
say, look how fucking real it looked. It was creeping me the out. The coolest thing I saw, then I know they used the technology for the Mandalorian where they have essentially it's like a dome, but it's a green screen dome on the inside. So when you're inside, no matter what angle you have with your camera, it's you can key it immediately oh. it's so fantastic and it's completely seamless that's how you can get these panoramic views i mean have you seen this thing mm -hmm. it's beautiful they use it for movies i forget which like what all cinematic. i think the, they're, they're trying to do their, they're trying to get away from the green screen per se and it's more yeah. like projection and so when the actors now they're not necessarily in green screens yeah it, it feels like they're there because they're projecting it's whatever amazing. they're almost like and then the camera works just like a, you know with vr and tracking so if the camera moves this way, the projection will actually create yeah. the, the correct, um, what's the word, uh, perception. Yeah. Yeah, it's cool. I forget what it's called, but I was watching a thing on it. And it's pretty cool. Yeah, I wonder how I want to make it. It's even, like 360. Yeah, it's something like that. Well, well the thing with this kind of technology, but... it's like, I, I, I get like, do I need to keep paying attention to all this? Like, I'm tired of teaching. My, every month, there's something brand new. It's it like is. you need to get to a point where just making content and someone else will be in charge of figuring out how awesome my camera is and how to make, make it, it work. work better. Yeah. Make it work. Yeah just, just, yeah. just make it work. Can you just make it work? It's all right. So, okay. So back to smart house stuff. Do you have <clears throat> any smart devices at all in your house? I got Anything. a smartphone. You got a smart. So that's, that's where you're it's at. Charging smartphone. It's, you, you, even have define, it you. you got to define smart. First thing. Um, any device that has basically an IP address. So your smartphone an IP would be address. One. Yeah. I, you have any so Bluetooth? So if it has a, well, my Fitbit's Bluetooth. There you go. That's a smart device. And I have a Bluetooth earbud. A Bluetooth earbud. Two of them, but so one of them. you have basically the smart stuff that's connected to you personally. Two of yeah. them. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah. guess so. I mean, you know, laptop. I mean, I do use technology begrudgingly. Begrudgingly. Yeah. So I said, like, in my house, I have the camera. I have every television, most of my lights. I got a smart TV. Yeah. And my thermometer, thermometer, not thermometer. Yeah, I don't do That's the thermometer. Not, not thermometer. My, 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 they do make the smart thermostat. Th they do make smart thermometers, though. Uh, I have a thermostat. So now, when I leave my house and I come in my house or whenever, I can say, "Hey Google, I'm leaving." Hey Google, I'm home. Hey Google, good night. Now the problem yeah. is, is I'm constantly <laughs> talking to Google all the time, and it, it you know, <clears throat> in a during a pandemic, I feel like I'm closer with Google. Than anything not me man i i would not do because if i'm gonna have that in-depth conversation with any form of ai i would probably get one of those ten thousand dollar sex bots <laughs> you know what i'm saying it's coming though yeah and That's I'll coming be like, so, okay so there you go so it's all very personal so your I, I first would. smart device you're gonna buy is an ai sex bot i would smart. i would I'm but sure you don't have to many use, people but would. you don't have to like bang it or nothing you could just send it to work for you Wait, what do you mean? How could you like you send it to work for you? If it's so damn smart, right? So like, why not? Like, okay, I could this apply. This conversation is totally. I took could it apply. The angle. Yeah, because like, <laughs> if the device works and it can do whatever you want it to do, okay, right? It looks like a person. Yeah, it's connected to Wi-Fi. All this other smart stuff. Okay, yeah, yeah. fine. What can stop you? From say teaching this machine how to make burgers. So are you okay? trying? This is how you're skipping the market. You're gonna buy a sex <clears throat> bot and reprogram it. You wouldn't to have do. to reprogram it, but, from what I understand. So why it's already got all this shit? So wait, why are you buying a specific sex bot? Why can we? Why are we not just buying? Because those a, are the a, most a, advanced ones on oh, the market. Oh, okay, well that's true because they and they, they look they, the most human. That's true. They are all the porn industry is always on the cusp. It is of technology. It is. Yeah, it, it is. is. It's very true. It's very true. We're it's clipping. We're true. clipping this conversation. That part right there. <laughs> so what you could do essentially, you could get a robot like that. Like we'll say a droid because it's way more fun. And it could be the droids we're looking for. You never know. Yeah. <laughs> but the point would be, you could it's take this bot, and you wouldn't have to try very hard in order to, in order to train it. Yeah. Essentially, to make burgers. Yeah. Therefore, drop it off. Get a job at McDonald's. Have it sit there and work for an eight to twelve hour shift. It doesn't really matter, mm -hmm. and the robot wouldn't matter because when you're, it's done with the shift. Pick it up, take it back to the charging station, and be done. Do the same thing the next day. You don't got to do nothing. Man, you're pimping yeah. out sex bots. <laughs> Rob, Bobby, the sex pimp bot man. That's a bot pimp. You have just opened up my mind. I think there is <clears throat> opportunity. Think about that. There is opportunity there. <laughs> And the branding, I think, is also there. Is the pimp. Bobby the Pimp, but. who sells you sex bots 
that actually you send know them to work. set you up for for the rest of your life. You know, they're just. Like, I mean, you think just about it. it. <laughs> like you wouldn't even need to like bang it or nothing. Just it's uh, send it to work you know, because you, that would make people can, feel no, more and comfortable. Obviously, you still would. I mean, I you could. That camera. You could. Uh, if that's what you wanted to, but see that money that you would make, get another bot because they look the most human. And how would people? They would clearly know. But at the same time, for now, if they're going to be as smart as you say, then they can actually hold a conversation. I, I'm now, I just have this whole picture now of like 30 years <clears throat> from now, and you were literally like the Blade Runner because your sex bots have fucked up the world. Well, and, how could they do that? And I don't know what happened. Something. Something happened. <laughs> Not really you, a Terminator. You are scenario. now the Blade Runner, and you have to like. <laughs> nah, nah. I would be the Blaze Runner. <laughs> like you said, it's branding. Bobby Blaze Runner. <laughs> the Blaze Runner. See, it would be it would be branding. Now you gotta re. Yeah, now we're back to branding. <laughs> because uh, if because if you're if you're gonna get a, a sex bot and just use it just for oh, one thing, and it would be like an Alexis, an, an Alexa with boobs or something. You know what I'm saying? So, mm -hmm. like, what would stop you from putting that machine in the workforce? If they're truly superior, then, you know, all these other automated things, you could do that and leverage it because they could collect a paycheck because they're on there me, on your behalf. Now you got me thinking about some serious things here because, you know, my thought of the future was because I really was going to get into conversation in other episodes about, you know, you have your smart house, but they're going to start making smart cities. And if you live in yeah. a city, you're kind of part of this whole thing and everyone's going to have like a certain amount of income, you know, just given to you by that government. 5G you're gonna can have help a that. Couple, you're going to have 5G. You're going to have everything kind of ready that. for you. 6G. But now you're making me think like how will people make money and i always thought like well there's just gonna be robots well not this is the money part but there's gonna be robots doing stuff for you but i think like well what if one person you're right just owns better robots or just have a bunch of robots and those robots are going out making money for you like an avatar so, yeah sort of like an avatar like an avatar yeah. so i think people in the city are just gonna not only be living in the smart city but i guess jobs are gonna be like i'm just making robots to do other people's jobs that's ah you can rent that you you know, can rent and then robots. charge for whatever you want. Right. You know, like say this bot would be like 10 G's or whatever. Okay. Now Five I'm G's just picture for one day. Of people just making robots to do different things. It's just very, I don't know. What, what, I wouldn't what eliminate the rental first. structure of that. You know, you want to rent or lease a robot. That would be a steady stream of income. Go get more. Well, go I think what's going to happen in some of these smart cities, there got to be, I don't know what work's going to be. Cause I think there's going to be a class of people that really don't work you're not there already need, is you're right you're right there already is but yeah. but there's going to be this level of like it's just so in system in the system that you are going to have health care you're going to have some type of money you're going to have like s smart setup in the city that you can travel i mean you're right you kind of have all that but it's just going to be at another <clears> level it would be built i think it could be built on top of what already exists like take this studio for example mm -hmm. right so like you got the analog element then you got the digital element and then you got another digital element on top of that. So you got like different layers of technology that's built and you always try to stay backwards compatible. Right. So you got infrastructure on infrastructure, right. basically like um, the Jetsons yeah. where, they, where they just were like, screw everybody. <laughs> And they just like let's just build. Well, way, you, you way heard up. you heard the theory about the Jetsons and the Flintstones, right? Which one's that? The theory that they exist simultaneously. Oh, it's not two different time periods. No, exactly it's exactly the same, the same except on one's the on the ground and the others are. Up I like. I kind of like that one. I love it. I do like the cool. I do remember thinking that in would the explain movie, the Martian. Because I remember being in theater for the Jetsons movie, and there I think it's at the very beginning that for some reason they're lower on the earth atmosphere and it's cloudy and the wife walks over, hits a button and the whole building or someone walks over and the whole building goes up above the pollution. Now I'm sure at the time, cause that was like the nineties or whatever, same time as like captain planet. I'm sure someone was like, well, this is, you know, big Hanna Barbara movie. We got to make a statement against, I guess it would have been cl climate change. It yeah. would have been global warming. Cause yeah. they didn't have those whatever, yet. whatever makes people angry. Yeah. Whatever, whatever, whatever it was at the time. But I always thought that was interesting. Cause that, it does kind of make sense of like, we're just going to build over top cause everything's kind of shitty down here. Yeah. So, well, actually, that was a pretty good conversation, and I actually might end up using some of this, Bobby. So I appreciate you, Bobby Blaze Runner. Runner, <laughs> the bot pimp. Right, right there. I mean, I'll animate something real quick for you and throw some good ass. Blaze the Runner. That's what stuff. I want to do. That's what I yeah, want to do. And it doesn't so have great. to be sex bots, but <laughs> they're the ones that look the most human. 
That is so great. All right, so hopefully we'll have this show be upgraded uh, and we'll continue it. Thank you for watching The Smart House. You can check us out on On Point Podcasting. And you can check us out at www.thegateway.media. That is our production company that's running all this fun stuff. You can check me out at thebeardyboy. Not thebeardyboy.com. That's not a, that's not a place. No, but bobbyblaze.com sure is. Is it? Is it? Do you sure have any is. handles you want to plugs you want to throw out there for yep. your Twitter, Instagram, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, SoundCloud? It's Bobby Blaze PGH. And then hopefully coming soon is is Bobby Blaze Runner. That's gotta get gotta get that domain. Bobby Blaze. Shouldn't right. have said that out loud. Now someone's going to buy it. This, this, this will be like one stupid thing I'll upload. And Way cooler reason. than Homestar, right? If <laughs> yeah. y'all remember that. Wait a second here. We're jumping. What? What did you just say? <laughs> can't be, oh, we can't end on you, you dishing Homestar Runner. They uh, just lost Flash last week or two weeks ago. We just lost Fat. I can't they? even talk. I didn't know. They, got, they stopped making Flash. Didn't you cannot know. access it anymore. You have to. Oh, yeah. It's HTML5 and above. Anyways, yeah. thanks for watching. Check our stuff out again. We're going to do this one more time, hopefully over and over again. Uh, yeah, goodbye. <laughs> that wasn't the best ending. And that. Okay.